Well, welcome back. Uh, sorry it's been a little while since my last build, but I have been in Australia to see my son and his fiance down just south of Brisbane in a little town called Canungra. Now I've got a very special announcement to make. Got a new apron. <laughs> June Freak. It's here. It's the pre-production version. So the idea is Andy has done a fantastic job. He's done, done literally, I mean, I've just done a few scribbles and made a few bits of polystyrene, but um, he's done a fantastic job of uh, converting my ideas into a 1.2 metre flying wing. Uh, so this is pre-production kit, so the idea is is I'm going to build this, uh, very little instructions, I've got the plans, um, but the idea is myself and another gentleman is actually building one as well, and the idea is we're going to build these between us, trying to find out any potential um, issues with the kit. So uh, let's crack on and see what he's made. Just calm down there, yeah, yeah, just, just calm down. So, let's have a little look here. We've got some carbon cap strips, plus some carbon rods. These cap strips are going on top and on bottom of the spar. Oh, it's going to be brilliant for bungee launching. So, we're just going to put the carbon fibre there. And let's get this bad boy out. So what we got in here, we have uh, various bits of ply, some fuselage sides nicely packaged. Let's take that out of there for the time being. Uh, some wing bolts. And that looks like a fuselage bottom. Let's have a little look here. So that looks like the elevators. Look at that. I mean, you, I'll tell you what, you know full well, I built shed loads of these, this particular company's models, and I've never had a problem with their laser cutting. Look at that. That fuselage does look sexy, doesn't it? I think Andy's put his own little spin on that. It's a fair play to him on that. This looks like some spars. And then we've got uh, various bits of sheeting. Look at that, it's falling out already. Put that back on there. And then we've got ribs. Ribs. Oh, look at that. Beta O O O Brilliant. That's obviously trailing edges. Oh we've got some plans. Right. Now then, so let's see what we've got in the plan department. So this is the uh <laughs> this is and as like we said, I've been honest right along. This has been inspired by the Wind Freak from the late 70s. Um, it's got a higher aspect ratio and completely different wing section. Now, so that's the plan for the fin. And then we have... This looks like the main panel. That looks like the main panel. And then this looks like the, there we go, that's the right hand outer panel, and this is the left hand outer panel. I need to sit down and look at this, and I think what we're going to do to start off with, I think going to start with the fin first. 
Right, okay, so I have um, just given this uh, an art, this piece of paper and iron, the plan. I pinned it down on a scrap bit of foam board that I've got. And you'll see that I've just added some sellotape to here, along here. There's basically anywhere where I think it's going to be uh, sort of glue, the glue's going to get on it. Now, let's quickly talk about glue, because I'm going to use something new for this kit. This is from Deluxe uh, Materials, and this is a glue, it's called Laser Cut Kit Glue. So it's a clean, neat, rapid construction of wooden laser kits. Um, it comes with a little uh, pin applicator, sorry, not a pin, a, a cleaner, and you've got this pin applicator. So, um, yeah, so that's going to be two exciting things we're going to do. Not only build the Dune Freak, but we're also going to need a microscope to be able to put that back in there. <laughs> no, and we've got the Dune Freak coming. So, now then, let's identify. So, on the wood that I've got here, um, let's just identify some pieces. This looks to be primarily most of the wood for the um, fin. So I'm just going to get this all out. I'm going to identify, clean it up, and then I'll come back here. Okay, so I have my leading edge. I have my trailing edge. This is your little fillet that pops in here. And we've got our two pieces of carbon rod. Um, so, um, it's worth remembering how to identify all these ribs um, and just cross check them on the plan. So, what I've thought about doing is I am going to start with the second one in, like so. And at the moment, because you, obviously this is a semi symmetrical wing section, we can't really. Uh, lay this flat on the bench like so. so what I intend to do is to slowly build this up and then when I've built it up I'm then going to add the carbon fibre rod What I will do is, is when I have done all of this, I think I might get myself a little bit of blue tack, just to hold this all in place. But it's going remarkably well at the moment. Considering I'm videoing this, just as you're adding these ribs, just make sure that all your holes line up as well because particularly when you get near the top um, it gets very difficult to distinguish so what I'm going to do is I'm adding all of these I'm getting everything ready in place and then what I am going to do oh that's interesting hang on a minute I'm getting everything in place and then what I am going to do is I'm just going to drop that glue in afterwards because it says you can use it with it in place. Right. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we are getting there. Just check that's round the right way. Pop that in there. Right, okay. So I'm now just going to start pushing this all together. Well, that's gone far, far better than I expected. I've got to be on the city. Now, what we'll do, I'm going to add that later.
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the carbon fibre rod up, supporting the whole thing. Oh, hello. Oh, no. No. That's better. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, let me just update you here. Now, you can see I've got the, the primary uh, carbon rod in. Now, I'll tell you what I did do. I managed to find some blue tack. Um, I didn't actually stick the blue tack to the actual balsa. I literally put that there like that and put that there like that. And it, what it did, it gave me a little bit of flexibility, but it stopped the ribs all popping out. So, um... I just slowly, a um, little tip there, I did round the end of the carbon off and just slowly twizzled that um, and got that into place. Now the only final thing I'm going to do now is uh, I am just going to add this, the smaller one, at the front, which is going to pop in there like so. And then what we will do is we're just adding this one here. Now the other things we need to think about doing is that also you're going to need two of these and I am just going to glue these together and then clamp them down and then I note that there's actually three of these now so let's just cut that cut that right so I've added the um, I'm now going to add the bottom rib I'm now going to add the top rib and then I'm going to start looking at gluing it all together Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gluing two of these together because um, that's going to fit down here but it's only going to fit once you've got your ribs in place. Right, so I have sort of jiggled my uh, June Freak tail into place and I'm just using the uh, blue tack just to hold it all together. And actually this blank, all I'm doing is I'm just popping that in there like so to make sure everything's square and now what I'm going to do is I am going to start off with this um, laser cut glue and uh, let's just see how we get on right so we have the basic fin is now done um, so there was uh, the three block there, which is fairly obvious. I just I clamped those together first, glued them. There's two here which glue together. So I glued them together using this new laser cut glue. Seems to be going very well. It's um, it seems I thought it was going to be just like alphatic, but it definitely seems um, a stickier substance. Now, um, I have infilled my little bolsa infill here, although at the moment it's not glued. Now. We need to talk about hinging and this lovely sort of uh, this here we've got going on. So um, this is made up of the um, some scrap from your uh, it says leading and trailing edges. I've used on the end of here was a piece of bolster about that long, which so I cut off. It's exactly the same length. So what I've done is I held my basically that in place like so. So the idea is what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to cut this along here in half because this is where we're actually going to, um, this is where our hinge line is going to be. So what I've done is I have found myself a length, pop those in there like so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mark myself a centre line from here up to here just mark it as a pencil line or a biro line along there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue to this glue these two together but don't glue it in the center but then glue the other side so the idea is I'm going to be cutting through the center of this center line all the way through through the rib and everything and then that's our hinge line and then we're going to be going across there as well so um, that's that there. So I'm now just going to use my laser cut glue and fill this space. 
Okay, one June Freak fin finished. Um, I have, I'll tell you how I'm finished this. Some of these were a little bit proud, so I just ran over with my David's plane, being very careful. Now, so what I did was, I obviously I cut four, I glued these two in place, but then uh, surface to surface, but then I left this surface unglued. So the idea is I'm going to sand this all to shape and uh, sharp, uh, make a nice rounded edge on here and here. And then I'm just going to run a blade along here, along here, up here, up there, and then across here. And that will be my fin and rudder. So I'm going to put that to one side. Step one of Dune Freak completed. <laughs> 